Okay, hi everybody, I'm Pete Rogers, MD. I'm gonna talk a little bit about protein here. We'll just go through some of this stuff quick. I've got another talk where I go into more detail about protein, but to make it quick, animal protein and plant protein are not the same. Animal protein will have more methionine and it'll have more leucine. Okay, that's a big difference compared with plant protein. The methionine in particular is a sulfur-containing amino acid. Animal protein will also tend to have more cysteine and the sulfur, some of it in the degradation process gets converted to sulfuric acid and that will have a, an effect to lower your pH, cause a mild metabolic acidosis, and then the body needs to buffer that pH. It'll tend to take calcium from the bone. The calcium is uh, excreted through the kidneys, so you avoid it. You get increased calcium in the urine. It's called calciuria. Some of that calcium will precipitate in the kidney tubules, which over time can cause decreased kidney function. In addition, if that precipitated calcium within the kidney gets larger, that can form a kidney stone. And if the kidney stone gets big, symptomatic, and obstructive, it can need to be removed, which is pretty painful. If they go from below, it's about the size of your thumb. A cystoscope the urologist uses goes up to Johnson through the ureteral orifice in the and the urinary bladder and fishes it out of your ureter. That is no fun. No guy wants a thing the size of a thumb stuck up as Johnson. You can also come from the kidney, you know, a trans uh, renal approach in some settings. But all right, the next point is leucine. Leucine is present in much increased amounts in animal protein compared with plant protein. Leucine is sort of the main rate limiting step for activation of mTOR, mammalian target of rapamycin. All right, and what that is is a nutrient sensing pathway, like a contractor getting ready to build a building. It wants to make sure it has all the building blocks ready to go before it starts to build the building. And the rate limiting step is having enough protein available, which is indicated primarily by leucine. So leucine, when it's present, will cause increased activation of mTOR. Now, if you're a 20-year-old guy lifting weights, and 20-year-old guys love to lift weights, I was the same way when I was young, you know, having more leucine around will help you get bigger a little faster. Sylvester Stallone in his working out book said, oh, he needed to eat some meat to get his um, faster gains in his weightlifting. That's all fine when you're 20 years old. But let me tell you something, older guy, we're not thinking about being a little more buff at the beach. We're scared of getting cancer. We're scared of getting prostate cancer, okay, or colon cancer, or other types of cancer. Women are scared of getting breast cancer. And what I'm trying to say is you don't want your mTOR speeded up, which is going to increase your rate of having a cell growth and cell replication because you don't want cancer cells proliferating at an increased rate. In addition, something down here at the bottom, Hayflick limit. Hayflick was a scientist working with fetal uh, tissue cultures, and he noticed that they'd always divide about the same number of times. These are somatic cells, um, non-stem cells, non-germline sperm and egg type stuff that they have about 60 cell divisions before they would die and they would remember it even if you store them in a fridge for a year or two such that and that goes into DNA replication hay flick limit we're not going to talk any more about it today but the point is animal protein might be accelerating the rate at which you reach the hay flick limit and therefore accelerating the rate at which you age in addition animal protein will have more of an effect to increase insulin like growth factor these growth promoting things again might be good if you're trying to get bigger stronger faster as a 20 year old athlete but after 40 when you're scared of cancer I think it's a bad idea. Um, Andy Bolton was this great uh, weightlifter guy. He's the first man to deadlift a thousand pounds. He's in kidney failure when he's in his mid forties. And I can tell you, I see a lot of young guys putting themselves in the kidney failures because they're taking too much protein. They're taking all these protein supplements, potentially these other uh, weightlifter supplements that contain nitrogen. There's no nitrogen in carbohydrates. There's no nitrogen in fatty acids, okay? The nitrogen comes from the protein, the amino acid. That's what the name is. Amino means with nitrogen. Okay, so your kidney has to excrete that nitrogen. When you overwork your kidneys because of this chronic daily excessive load of nitrogen, they eventually fail. Plus the kidneys also have to balance the acid in your body. So that combined load from meat of excess of nitrogen and excess of acid is rough on your kidneys. They go into hyperfiltration phase. The next point is human breast milk. Human breast milk's got about 6% protein. So at the fastest phase of growth ever in life, a baby making like a, over a million neurons a day, um, and the kid only needs 6% protein. The point being is older adults, you don't need that much protein. Okay, you probably only need about 4% protein. They've studied all these poor people all over the world. How can they feed them as cheaply as possible? And what they found out is you cannot be deficient in protein unless you're starving to death, all right? So it's really a non-issue. Um, and we covered pretty much all this other stuff. So my advice is unless you're a really young guy trying to get a little bit bigger, faster lifting weights, 
I recommend you want to be on the low side of protein. The best diet I think is 100% plant-based, which puts you at 80-10-10. 80% carbohydrate, 10% fat, 10% protein. And in reality, even if you're a little lower, that's fine. And Kempner already proved that with thousands of patients back out in Carolina in the past. So hope that was helpful. A uh, quick introduction to protein.